All right, so we have the BKR 5000 handhelds and the KMG M150 mobile radios. We get on incidents and we are uh, we get a clone in this from the incident, but we don't have, sometimes have the channels in our mobile radio. So to do that, we had to get some cables, which are going to be in here. So we have the what they call the Medusa cable. It's got multiple uh, connections on one point and on the other. And then this is the connector. So this is the BKR0701 and the KAA0701. So this gets connected to here and it'll actually remain connected like this. I just wanted to show that it was two parts, okay? And this always goes on this end of the cabling system. The, the two cable system is what we're gonna hook up to the mobile. So then this portion with the radio off, you're gonna connect right here. Okay, so this will be our host and it's gonna be going to the mobile. From the mobile with the mobile off, get this to loosen up there we go the hand mic comes out now there was some stuff online saying that you would go direct to the unit some others going direct to the mic there's nothing online that has been able to show me these exact two units so we just figured this out last night out on the line so now our cable is connected to there so we will turn on the BKR and we will turn on the mobile unit now we're going to be cloning zone to zone. So whatever zone we put this in and whatever zone we put this in, it's going to send that feed over. So we go here on the zones and we're going to go to 54. So we're on an incident right now that has given us, so 51 through 54 is our uh, clone, but I haven't cloned over 54 yet to the mobile. So 54 is the zone that we'll be working in. So I'm going to put the contingency group for Butte version five. And we're in that zone. Now we're gonna go to the mobile and we're gonna go to zone and we're gonna scroll all the way down. And you'll notice that 51 used to say incident, 52 used to say incident, 53 said incident, those are all from the incident, and 54 I have not cloned over now, it just has nothing in it. Um, so 54 we are gonna clone over right now. So on here we're gonna hit enter, so we're in 54. We're gonna go to menu, and we are gonna go down till we get to cloning and hit enter. We're gonna uh, wait right, oh, actually, so this one goes down to enter destination clone, and we're gonna leave it right there for a second. On this, we're gonna go to menu. We're gonna enter on cloning and clone active zone, okay? So before we do that, we're gonna go to this one. We're gonna hit enter to enter. So this is waiting for us to go from here. Clone active zone enter and it'll say cloning in progress and this one over here says destination clone start so this takes a while probably 45 seconds to a minute um, this one will usually finish first we're just gonna wait through it so everybody understands how long this takes So this says source zone complete, and then it turned itself back to the regular screen. Um, if you look over here on this, this one just still says destination clone start, and you think like, ah, it didn't start, something's wrong. We're just gonna have to wait this out. It takes 45 seconds, like I said, or a minute or more, and then eventually it will shut itself off.
powering off, powered back on. When it powers back on, now you see that we have channels here and if we go to zone, we have that contingency B version five. So now we are all set. So what we wanna do is turn off the BKR, turn off the mobile. Once they're both off, then we can disconnect both cables. And now you have successfully taken one of your zones from the incident and put it into the mobile. I hope this guy helps you out and that you were able to clone from a BKR 5000 to a KNG M150. Have a great day, guys.